Hello guys, uh, this is Vaden Vaden again. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm going to show you today how you change your uh, brake pads in the motorcycle. All the motorcycles uh, has uh, two, two brakes. Uh, brakes in the front separately to the brakes in the back. Two sets of pads, like we see right here. And in the back, uh, it have one set of pads, one motor. So in this case, I'm gonna change the rear. I recommend to check your uh, your brake pads, the front and the in the back. Always like every six thousand miles or every oil change. So I always recommend to check the thickness of your brake pads. In this case, my brake pads in the back is uh, almost like one millimeter left. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you change your brake pads in the back in a BMW 2017 GS 1200. All right, in this, uh, this job, we're gonna use the, uh, this is the tools. We're gonna use a uh, 3 8 ratchet small screwdriver to compact the uh, brake pads T40 um, Torx and then the T30 Torx and then for the tire is a T50 Torx these pliers I'm using for the taking out the uh, safety pins these are channel locks I'm using it for the uh, contract the uh, retract the wheel cylinders to the back and then special grease caliper grease uh, high temperature special for, for brakes and then of course this is the uh, brake pads in the back this is the part number uh, especially for a uh, original for a OEM part from BMW I'm gonna I'm gonna put all these uh, specifications and the torch specifications in the description below so stay tuned Right, the first step is gonna take it out the uh, rear uh, uh, fender. It torques number thirty. Uh, torques. Number fifty five zero. Okay, we want to check it out there. Two bolts right here for the brake caliper. Torx, that number is uh, T40. Okay, the, uh, the cable with the speed sensor. Slide it inside to outside. All right, so that way we can take it out the uh, the bracket for the speed sensor, and then the brake caliper gets out like this, and then take it out the other inside pad, the bracket. It's a slide from right here. It's got two rubbers. like this rear caliper is uh, two pistons so we want to clean it up all the way right here the, the around the uh, brake cylinders and then we want to compress the brake cylinders all the way back that way we have space to put the inside pad and the outside pad
Okay, like I mentioned earlier, we want to use the uh, the old pad. This is the old pad. We wanna we wanna put it right here in the in the cylinders. That way we can retract the, the cylinders back. We wanna do it slowly with the uh, channel locks or pliers like these ones. Try to do it slowly, and then uh, can retract the cylinders all the space. Like this, all the way in. All right. That way we have space now to the new brake uh, pads. Power. Right here. This is the, the part number. Is more Look at it right here. Okay, so now we have the um, brake caliper clean, the cylinders. Right, make sure about the uh, the pin goes all the way like that, and then put the safety pins. It's super important. Don't forget about it. One pin. The other pin is right here. All right. Now we wanna put the uh, the two bolts for the brake caliper. I'm gonna put the specifications, the torques, in the description below. Always do this by hand first, that way you have the uh, threads in the right spot. Speed sensor cable. Make sure, like I said, make sure you have the pins in the right spot correctly. All the way right here, the brake copper, make sure the line is okay. Now it's time to uh, pump uh, the rear brakes. I want to do it by hand, slowly. when you feel it like a little bit hard the brake pedal like a normal that way that means the pads touching already the uh, the rotor or the disc And then you can use whatever tool you want to use. And then uh, we want to we want to test the brakes before everything. Put a neutral. Okay, it's a neutral right now. And we have to make sure uh, the brakes are working very good. Like right here. And then the tires freely. And they're braking. It's, it's, it's right After you do the brake brake job, check always the uh, the fluid. It's in the in the level. It's in a max line right here. The cap. And that's it. Alright, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.